Uh, I'm Dr. Tom Budkowski and I'm a professor of biology. I teach biology and environmental science at Maryville University. I've been here for over 30 years. 30 wonderful years, I might say. The type of uh, person that gravitates to environmental science is one that really has a passion for the environment and where they fit into the world. So that comes first. Better than sheer ability and talent is their interest, that sustaining interest that they've had from early childhood that um, they now want to pursue that in college. And oftentimes it's not just the possibility of employment on the other end, but the fact that they have this calling or this interest that overwhelms them. It could be in writing about the environment, it could be in actually physically measuring uh, soil samples and looking at uh, pollution and various aspects, or it might be in public policy. So you could help to shape a position that needs to be taken either at the local level, state level, or at the national level. I knew that I, I was passionate about the outdoors coming from Montana. I love being outside, like in the mountains, in the woods, and I knew that's where I wanted to be. Um, and environmental science just sounded like the right fit after that. Um, so it's given me a new perspective on the world, really. The environmental science program is kind of unique in the way that you get a very heavy dose of science such as ecology, instrumental analysis, quantitative analysis, organic chemistry. But there's also the other classes that I've found to be very useful, such as environmental law, uh, hazmat, environmental ethics. So you get a very diverse knowledge base so that when you leave here, you don't necessarily have to go work in a lab. You can go work in a law office. You can have that, you know, that expertise in that area to carry you into so many different facets that environmental science will take you. It's an overarching science and so it reaches uh, well beyond chemistry and physics and biology and it's also integrative in that it puts things together in a different context so that we can see holistically how things fit together and how we fit into this world. You know, quite often we set ourselves apart and uh, we look at the world and we're kind of the omniscient observers. Well, the, in environmental science you're on the playing field. You're a participant, you're not a spectator and so you and what you do has an influence on the outcome for all of us. This summer I'm doing an internship in Hawaii that I'm really excited about um, and I'm going to be working on a sea turtle project and we're going to monitor sea turtles. Uh, it's an endangered species in Hawaii, the specific species that I'm studying um, and we're going to do some predator, predator control and stuff. Um, so we'll see how that goes. If I really love that, that might end up being what I do. My favorite class that I'm taking here at Maryville University was ecology. Uh, that was mainly due to the fact that we actually did go out back and did actual ecological studies. The campus on Maryville actually has a natural environment to it, whereas other campuses do not. So you can actually go out back, walk out back, and do some of your studies and see some of the things that you're learning in class. Well, mentoring to me means partnership, and it also means acting kind of like an academic parent to try to see people through their program. Some people in environmental science may have difficulty with some aspects of chemistry and so they have to work harder at that. And so I try to be as encouraging as I can. I try to talk to faculty members and I try to make sure that they're on the same page with the instructor. So when we all work on this together, we can pull people through that may have trouble with that building block, but once they get past that, then they can fly in a sense and do a lot better on other topics that are part of the program. Class size is pretty small. Um, it's a very close, intimate environment, and I think that really enhances the learning. My advisor, he knows me really well, so he knows what I want to do and how he can accommodate to uh, reach certain goals. I think that's really great. They know me more than just a student. They know me as a person. 